Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Wally Cooks Everything and today I'm making salt fish with chicken fried rice. So salt fish and chicken fried rice uh, is a traditional Chinese dish. In my native Cantonese language, it's called Ham Yu Gai Lap Chao Fan. So it's salt fish with chicken chunks with uh, fried rice. And this, as I said, this recipe is very, very easy to make. Um, everybody has like leftover rice, uh, especially now these days when we're mostly staying home. Um, I have here two cups of cooked jasmine rice. These I made today. You can use day old rice, but you just have to make sure that you have a good quality rice because if you have a poor quality rice and you leave it overnight and you use it, and you use it as a fried rice, most of the time the rice would be too hard. So if you use a good quality jasmine rice like, like I have here, if you leave this overnight, it still retains some moisture. So use good quality rice, okay? Now here is some chicken breast meat. You can use chicken thigh. Uh, this is about 150 grams of chicken breast meat. The star of the dish here is of course salt fish. So I have two kinds of salt fish here, but I'm only using one, okay? I'm using this one. It's a salted fish mackerel. I'm only gonna be using half of it, like just this end. There's also this type of salt fish. I'm just showing, showing this to you just in case this is something that you have in your area, in your neck of the woods. This salt fish is dried out. Uh, what kind of fish it is, I'm not sure yet. I, I forgot what it was. But these are the types of salt fish that you can get in Thailand. But if you're using this, right, because this has been dried out, you have to soak it in oil before before you cook it. Okay, so you gotta soak this in, uh, in some oil. Here, if I'm using half of this fish, it's about maybe just 20 grams. Actually, I'm gonna cut it open right now and show you. This salt fish goes a long way, okay? So don't overuse it because it's very, very, it's a very, very pungent ingredient. So that's all I'm using, that's all I need. Because this is gonna be a small order of uh, fried rice. As I said, this is only two cups of, about two and a half cups of cooked rice. So here's like one bowl of rice, right? So you can use your imagination. Um, but I'll show you how to do it later. So it'll, it'll make about two bowls of these right so you can share with uh, someone and then we also have two large size eggs because every fried rice needs eggs right and what i'll do is i'll just use my hands to just tear it up into chunks you don't have to make these too small because what happens is when you cook it in the hot wok it'll sort of disintegrate but i'm just helping it to make smaller chunks just to help it along so it'll cook a little bit easier all right so here it's about maybe like 10 or 15 grams of salt salt fish but first off, I'm going to marinate my chicken. Here's a 150 grams of chicken breast meat. And you just need to cut it to about little chunks. But don't cut it too small because if you cut chicken meat too small, it'll shrink a lot. So I'm gonna marinate this with a, one dash of ground pepper, one teaspoon of sesame oil. And here's one tablespoon of oyster sauce. And finally one tablespoon of corn flour for my friends in the US corn flour is cornstarch okay. and just give this a good mix all right since this is a small portion of chicken you can just marinate this in the refrigerator for about five minutes and it should be just fine okay so I have my pal Marvin here heating up on medium-high heat and I'm gonna the first thing I'm gonna put in is a salt fish Just let the fish cook. In this pan, I had about two tablespoons of oil. As you can see, the salt fish, it breaks up easily when it starts cooking. Okay, when you start smelling, it's very pungent. Then you add in your chicken meat. And if you notice, I didn't add any salt into this dish, right? That's because most of the salt will come from the fish. And the saltiness has infused into the oil. And right now when the chicken is cooking, it's also being infused with the salt. And let it cook. I'm gonna put the heat up a, a little bit more. So I'm looking to cook the chicken until it just starts turning white. Because I'm going to remove the chicken pieces and I'm going to because I'm going to remove the chicken pieces later on so it doesn't overcook. And then I'll add it back in later. 
let it sit there. Okay, I'm turn up the heat. I'm gonna just remove the chicken first. Right now I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil. And then my heat is medium high. Because next up are the eggs. I'm just gonna scramble my eggs a little bit first. I'm gonna go. Okay, so this stage is very, very important. You have to put in your rice. So the, right before the egg completely cooked because you want you want the egg to color your rice. Every proper fried rice has a yellowish tinge and that yellowish tinge comes from the egg. As you can see my white rice has turned a little bit yellow thanks to the egg. And right now, I'm just waiting for the rice to just dry out a little bit. But usually you can hear from the sound, the rice will make a popping sound. And sometimes you'll even, you'll even see little pieces sort of jump around. And that's when you know you're almost ready. Okay, now I'll add in my chicken and my salt fish mix. Man. It smells great. That salty fish. Yeah, I see my rice jumping around. I also put in some greens. Just a little bit. Oh, you see those rice jumping around? Okay, and before I turn off the heat, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a taste. Mm. Perfect. I don't need to add anything. All right, so right now I'm also gonna teach you how to plate this because remember, plating equals brownie points. Okay, so to earn some brownie points, you wait until the fried rice has cooled down a little bit and then you pack, uh, pack it into a bowl like this, just pack it up to the top and then use a spatula to push it down. And then you use a plate like this, your serving plate, like that. And then down. Just leave it there for like five seconds. And just leave for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And lift up. And there you have. Pretty cute, huh? And there you go. A classic Chinese salt fish with chicken fried rice. Ham yu kai lap chao ban. See, I told you, it's very, very easy to make. Uh, there's no excuse to throw away your day old rice because fried rice is something that you can easily make. I made this in like 10 minutes, including the time to marinate chicken. Um, and it just took me a few minutes to chop up the chicken. So as you can see, you can make this dish very fast. Okay, everyone. So again, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see future videos or support this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button. Um, since my last video, I have four subscribers now. Uh, so I had one that subscribed uh, just recently, so it's great, but it could be better. 
I know that it takes time to build a channel, so if you can just help me and show me that I'm doing a good job, please subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and hit the like button. Because I'll be trying to make videos maybe about like once a week, because it's pretty fun, it's pretty cool, because right now there really isn't that much to do at home. And uh, since I always like cooking, I always like to share whatever I know about cooking um, to everyone. So thanks for watching again, and I hope you join me again next time, okay? Take care. Goodbye.